Got some Germans in the chat. Got a Norwegian. Still from Germany. <laughs> yeah, people were saying where, where they were from this morning. Because I streamed... I streamed like five, six hours ago. So I'm assuming people haven't changed locations. At least the returning viewers. Okay. Um, let's play d5. Let's play double queen's pawn. I have to sneeze, but I can't sneeze. I'm bad at sneezing when like there's a spotlight on me. Just too much pressure. Patrick JMT, what's up? Even more pressure now. Shout out to Patrick JMT. I don't think I can shout out, or the shout out command doesn't work for like a YouTube channel. Only works for a Twitch channel. All right, Knight C3. Trying to think of some creative stuff. I'm just gonna stick with my, my usual repertoire. Look at the light. The light is right in front of me. Always looking at it, pretty much. Maybe I'll transpose into a, a Cambridge Springs. I'll start with this move. Uh, Knight BD7, because it comes with a trap. My opponent is low rated, low rated enough where he might fall for it. The trap is after takes, takes. It looks like white can grab a pawn. Lord Francesco with bits. Thanks for the 200 bits. Takes, takes, takes. Uh, is not happening. If it were to happen, I would temporarily sack a queen and then win it back with bishop b4 and win a piece. Just flow with a resub for three months. So I'm trying to achieve uh, a Cambridge Springs, which is actually a fun opening. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to have the main position, queen a5. This is the start of the Cambridge Springs. Idea of queen a5, pressure the, this diagonal, and also some sneaky ideas of punishing the bishop on g5. And very often, black will combine knight e4 and bishop b4. It's been a while since I played this. I had a coach who taught it to me many years ago, probably when I was like 11 or 12 years old. Bishop d3 is a mistake. Bishop d3 walks into issues. I'm actually trying to remember, knight e4 takes. I think I'm supposed to take first. I've taught this to a lot of students too. So it's a simple, uh, simple line against the queen's gambit. And after bishop takes knight e4 will be a fork. The queen and the knight will coordinate to attack both the bishop and the knight. And black should win a pawn. Whoa! Okay, maybe my opponent. I wonder if my opponent's watching. Most people just automatically take back. Um, yeah, maybe. Wait. Is black. or is white surviving this? Huh. Yeah, I could try and hold on to the d3 pawn. That's slightly irritating. But yeah, let's try and hold on to the d3 pawn. It's a weird situation. The bishop will have, have to save itself. And then... I have a move like queen a6. Maybe it depends where the bishop goes. Bishop e5. Hmm. Don't underestimate the cake bagel. Oh, I didn't even realize my opponent's username. That sounds delicious, a cake bagel. Hmm. Cake bagel. Okay, let's focus on moves. I could take the bishop and get the bishop pair, but then white's easily winning the pawn. I could play queen a6. Looking to set up traps. I'm imagining white takes and then I, I get two moves in a row. Like b6, bishop, a6. Maybe I'll just play queen a6. Simple enough. Good morning, Just Add Blue. Happy belated birthday. Even though I wish you birthday on your actual birthday. Guess now it's your belated birthday. Good to see that you're alive. 
Um, what to do? This bishop is very depressed. I could play c5. c5 is interesting, actually. I'm going to play c5. Idea is if takes, my knight can come in and defend the pawn. Otherwise, maybe c4 and I'll have some weird pawn chain in white's territory. Joe Brune, what's up? Good to see you, Joe Brune. And everyone else who I didn't say hello to. Hello to everyone else. If you could bring only one chess book to a desert island, spend the next 10 years one chess book. Oh, that's rough. I mean, probably the the Laszlo Polgar 5,234. How many problems? It's over 5,000 problems. And a lot of them are like difficult, like made in twos or made in threes. So that would maybe keep me entertained. I got that book when I was like eight or nine. And was like working through it for a good like six to seven years. I don't think I, I completed it, but I solved like most of the mating problems. Ziggy, Na Ziggy Nagy asking two streams in one day. There might actually be three streams in one day. It's looking likely I'll, I'll be doing a co-stream tonight um, with another chess streamer. Takes, takes, c4, and then b5. Then a6, then I'll win connect four. Okay, let's take a queen. I could also play b5 here. Mm, c4 looks fine. This is so unusual. Because I just, it's like my d pawn like cheated and jumped over the white's d pawn. In reality, I just captured twice. Let's play b5. Actually, I don't have to play b5 because white's not really threatening to take, but I'll do it anyway just to show my dominance. Knight has to move back. And then a6. <laughs> I'll win connect four. Yeah, I've been showing students of Cambridge Springs for years. I've been playing it myself, but never actually encountered this like intermezzo, like bishop takes f6. But perhaps this is one reason why white should still avoid this line. And my bishop will find happiness. The winter is over, springtime is coming. I could still take this bishop any, probably any time. Wow, b3. B3 allows B4, C3, D2. This seems too good to be true. Like, I haven't developed, like, these pieces. I'm just pushing pawns on the queen side. I have to do it. I mean, the knight's going to move. C3, nothing's hitting the D pawn. And then D2. I'll have a pawn chain leading up to white's second rank. I guess maybe white could sack, but I'll be happy to win the knight. Cake bagel is uh, it's tasting very delicious so far. I need a connect four emote, that's true. Okay, c3 time. Yeah, no need to take this bishop, at least yet. And then d2 coming, and then a5, and I'll, I'll win connect 4 again, but on the dark squares. The knight's actually very restricted, like I'm controlling all these squares, and I can move to. We might see a3, but a3, it's, it's nice that I have an a-pawn too, just to reinforce everything. After d2, I mean, if the rook, like... Ideas of D2, C2 could come very soon. This needs skill on YouTube. Yeah, shout out to the future YouTube people watching. Hope you're being entertained. Yeah, this really doesn't happen every day. 
I need to play more chess, so maybe it'll happen every other day. Or maybe I'll just retire after this game, quit chess, and take up, take up cooking, learn how to make a cake bagel. But I really don't know what white does here. Because white wants to like undermine the pawn somehow, but there's so few resources. Like, a3 is a resource, and okay, there's moves to attack the d-pawn, but d2 will come. So sacking is, it's logical. It kind of makes me sad that I'm losing my, my beautiful pawns. But that's the circle of life. Now, I think the strategy is just to trade everything. Oh, I could set up a trap. I could play a5. And maybe, actually, I hold on to the d-pawn with tactics. Yeah, I'll play a5. White still has to work to win the pawn. Okay, both rooks could attack the pawn, but the bishop will defend the pawn. If I play bishop a6, and I'll play bishop b4, remove this rook, maybe d2 someday. So this pawn, it's it's been surviving. It landed on d3 on move... 8. What a survivor. Rafrika, welcome back. Do you have a day job? My day job is pushing pawns and receiving bits and subs. Dude114, thanks for subbing. Yeah, so the bishop defends. If knight e1, it attacks a pawn but walks into a fork. It's a problem. Whenever like a pawn is close to promoting, Yes, in this case, white has to be very, very careful, like every move, to check if d2 works for me. Another sub, Nikola Stojson, subbing for eight months, and dude subbing for uh, for seven months. Some nice streaks. Yeah, so white has. A single pawn for the the minor piece, but really no compensation. It does have the C file. I control C8, so that's important. I might consider Bishop A3 next. Just remove the rook, and then Bishop B4 remove the other rook. Or just wait for White to flag. I don't want to play d2 too soon. Like, even if I play bishop b4, rook c7, d2, it could be over pushing. But maybe I would have bishop e2 in the end. But then there's rook c8. I have to, I have to calculate. Yeah, and shout out to the European viewers. I think this is still EU friendly. It should be like evening in Europe. What, like 9 or 10 p.m.? Or you call it what? Um, it's like, what do you call it, 20, 20 or 21 hour? Because you use military time. Whoa, Gazing Goats continuing the sub that they got from not a GM, John Davis. Thanks, Gazing Goats. I don't think Bishop B7 was better. It is a long diagonal, but I wanted to defend the pawn. So Rook C6. This is tricky, because if I develop the bishop, then there's this move, and then there's this move. I could lose a rook if I'm not careful. It was very sneaky. Another sub, Bizak. I'm contemplating just sacking this rook in the end, but it's probably not the best decision. And there's bishop. Ah, yeah, rook c6 is actually a good move. Thinking I can take. I mean, I just want to simplify. So takes, takes, d2, rook, uh, rook d1, and bishop b4. I'm threatening bishop e2. And that's hard to stop. So there's knight c4. This is good enough. I'll take.
Yeah, the bishops, at least the last bishop will come to life. Whoa. Okay, I can take with check. Move surprised me for a moment there. But now I'm up a bishop and a rook for a pawn. Oh no, I'm losing my d3 pawn. Oh, no I'm not. <laughs> Good game. Uh, that was a nice finish. I'll put that on YouTube. The Fuxia, thanks for subbing. Oh, gifted by Just Add Blue. Thanks, Just Add Blue, for the gift sub. Gifting 67 subs. Yeah, so if you're watching on YouTube, you can also subscribe for free on YouTube. Or you can subscribe on Twitch with Twitch Prime. Or or um, for half price, because it's September. But yeah, I'm wrapping it up for the YouTube audience. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you're inspired to push pawns. Nicola Stojson. Thanks subway for the, 1000 bonus 100. Thanks for the subway bits. And you two people, I'll see you in the future.